Water ink is a breaking down of matter. By nature, chemicals are man. There are two types of weather ink. One of these is mechanical. This picture is an example of ice wedging, which is a form of mechanical weathering. Ice wedging happens when rainwater runs down in small cracks in the soil and freezes. This results in much larger cracks. Dog digging is also mechanical weathering. These are some other types of mechanical weathering, and as you can see, um, they, none of them have been really chemically changed, which makes them mechanical weathering opposed to chemical weathering. This part of a pipe is an example of chemical weathering. That is because um, the metal rests due to exposure to oxygen, which is a chemical change, and the metal is slowly being worn away by the rust. This shows where the brick has been dissolved by running water from the rain. The Statue of Liberty is also an example of chemical weathering. The copper has oxidized. That is why it is green instead of a brass color. Erosion is a moving away of material by wind and water. Um, going on right here are pictures of the Grand Canyon. It's a really good example of erosion because um, rivers actually once ran through it. Right here is the Royal Gorge and it's a very, very deep ravine and water also carved to that and the erosion carried away the sediments that were once there as well as they did in the Grand Canyon. The water that carves the Grand Canyon in Royal Gorge carries away the sediments. This leaves the indentions in the rock. These rocks are an example of wind erosion. The wind has blown away sediment from a once larger rock and left these thinner ones. The balancing rock shown here was and is being carved by wind. Soon it may become a mushroom rock, or a rock with a thinner middle and wider top. This is an example of chemical erosion. You can see here where the rust has been carried from the pipe to the cement. You see here where the rainwater has deposited some of the dirt in this little uh, dip in the cement. Shame.